We know what happens when something falls across the so-called event horizon. If you cross that region of space, then nothing can get out. You'd have to travel faster than light to get out. But we don't know what happens when something goes to the centre of a black hole. It's called a singularity. And the reason we don't know is because our current laws of physics break down in those very extreme conditions. And we need a new theory. And the theory is often called a quantum theory of gravity. It's some kind of unification between our theory of everything else which are called quantum theories, and our theory of gravity, which, as I mentioned earlier, is, is Einstein's theory. It's the best theory we have, which is 100 years old next year. So we need a, a better theory to answer that question. Now, I should just mention, there are black holes, supermassive black holes at the centre of galaxies, and we don't fully understand how those form, but they're millions of times the mass of a star, so the Milky Way galaxy's got one. How they form and how galaxies formed in the early universes is a piece of research that's going on now. A singularity observed in black holes represents an infinitely dense point where the laws of physics break down. Black holes, formed from collapsed massive stars, possess a singularity at their core, enclosed by an event horizon beyond which nothing escapes. The singularity's mystery arises from the clash between general relativity and quantum mechanics, as both theories fail to explain its behavior. This highlights the need for a unified theory of quantum gravity. In addition to that, the formation of supermassive black holes, which reside at the centers of galaxies, remains enigmatic. Proposed mechanisms include the growth of smaller black holes, direct collapse of massive clouds, or mergers of stars in dense environments. However, no definitive explanation has been established, leaving this cosmic phenomenon also shrouded in uncertainty. But that's just one of the many mysteries in the cosmos. Among the most perplexing is dark matter, which is believed to encompass a significant portion of our universe's composition. We know it's there. We're absolutely sure now it's there from many different measurements, from the way that galaxies rotate, the way that galaxies interact with each other. And the whole evolution of the universe actually requires there to be dark matter. About five times as much dark matter as there is matter. So it completely outweighs the stuff out of which we are made and all the stars we can see in the sky are made. So it doesn't glow. It's not stars, which is why it's called dark matter. What is it? As a particle physicist, I would say it's probably, it's a new kind of particle, I would guess. A particle which we haven't discovered yet. There are theories, many theories in particle physics, that suggest that there are other particles out there that are waiting to be discovered at places like the Large Hadron Collider. So I think the evidence tends to suggest there should be some new kind of particle. And we may discover it. We have experiments in underground laboratories that are literally looking for the dark matter that we fly through as the Earth orbits around the Sun and the solar system goes around the galaxy and the galaxy passes through the universe, we're flying through this dark matter. So it does come through, it should be in this room now and in the room where you're sitting now, but it interacts very weakly with normal matter. So we have experiments looking for the very rare times when those dark matter particles might bump in to some matter, so we can look for it that way. Or we can try and make these new particles at particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider. But that would be my guess, it's a new kind of particle. Dark matter is a mysterious form of matter that does not emit light or interact with electromagnetic forces, yet its presence is inferred by its gravitational effects on visible matter in the universe, such as galaxies and galaxy clusters. Its nature remains unknown, leading to various theories about its composition. Some physicists, like Brian Cox, propose that dark matter could be made up of new particles, distinct from those in the standard model of particle physics. These particles, like weakly interacting massive particles or axions, would interact only weakly with normal matter and would be difficult to detect directly. This hypothesis is based on the idea that these particles could explain the observed gravitational anomalies without emitting light. At CERN, scientists are using powerful particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider to conduct experiments aimed at unraveling the mysteries of particle physics and gaining insights into the nature of dark matter. Although nothing has been found, the quest to uncover the true nature of dark matter remains an ongoing and exciting endeavor at CERN and other research institutions around the world. However, there's more to the mystery than just matter. While dark matter pertains to invisible matter influencing the gravitational forces within galaxies and clusters, dark energy introduces a distinct concept associated with the universe's accelerated expansion. Dark energy is a different thing. 
we are pretty sure that the universe is accelerating in its expansion. Einstein's theory, the venerable theory of general relativity, tells us that if we see how the universe is expanding and changing and stretching, so the fabric of the universe is stretching, it allows us to discern what's in it, the kind of stuff, how much matter and dark matter. And we find that we need some other stuff called dark energy, which is allowed in the theory. So Einstein knew about it. He had one model for it called the cosmological constant that he put in the theory. So it's there, but we really don't understand at a deep level what it is. It's one of the great mysteries. Maybe we're going to need the understanding of space and time that we're getting from black hole research in order to make more progress in understanding the nature of dark energy. Maybe. So it's it's exciting. We're, we're talking about the frontier. But the observation is that the universe is expanding and it's accelerating in its expansion. And that's what dark energy is. So a catch-all term for whatever's doing that. Dark energy is a mysterious form of energy thought to drive the accelerated expansion of the universe. Discovered when astronomers observed the unexpected acceleration of distant galaxies, dark energy is believed to be uniformly distributed in space and possesses negative pressure. This counterintuitive pressure generates repulsive gravity, causing galaxies to move apart faster over time. Despite its crucial role in the universe's evolution, the nature of dark energy remains elusive. Its origin and interaction with other forces are still unknown. Theories propose new fundamental fields or properties of space-time to explain it. Research and observations continue in attempts to unravel the mysteries surrounding dark energy and its impact on the cosmos. But we can't help but wonder about the very nature of our universe. Could the universe be infinite, stretching out endlessly in all directions? Is there anything beyond the universe? Probably not. We suspect quite strongly that our universe, it could well be infinite in extent, even our bit of the universe. If you just take our universe, it's certainly, we're sure, it exists far beyond the bit we can see. So why would I say that? Well, if you think about it, the universe is our bit, at least, has been around 13.8 billion years. That means that light has only had 13.8 billion years to travel from the bit that we can see to our eye. So we can only see as far as light has had time to travel. But we think there's a lot beyond that because of measurements we've made of how the universe is curved and what the structure of the universe is. So it undoubtedly extends beyond the little bubble that we can see. How far it extends, it's another great question. We don't know, but it could be infinite in extent. The extent of the universe and its potential infinity are ongoing mysteries. While the observable universe spans about 93 billion light years, what lies beyond remains uncertain due to the finite speed of light and the universe's expansion. The possibility of an infinite universe challenges our understanding, and theories propose both infinite and bounded possibilities. Additionally, contemplating the universe's ultimate fate deepens the mystery. How will the universe end? Well, the current best guess, or best estimate, is that it will carry on expanding forever. And the reason I say that is because the universe is accelerating in its expansion, which is a great mystery because before that discovery, we thought, well, gravity is always attractive. We've got all these galaxies in the universe and the universe has been expanding since the Big Bang. And so it should at least be slowing down. And there was even a question as, uh, is there enough matter in it to slow it down so much that it stops and recollapses again? But this new discovery that the universe is accelerating in its expansion suggests that it will continue to accelerate unless some new physics appears that we don't understand, and so it will just continue to expand forever. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider showing your support by subscribing and checking out more of our content.